In the small hours of the evening of 19 October, an individual well known to the house and staff, a Monsieur Gustave H., did arrive at the Dustoff and Taxi's residence in Lutz and entered by rear service alley, alerting no one to his presence, and did then proceed by way of back stairs and servant's passage to deliver himself into the private chambers of Madame D. There was no evidence to indicate whether this visit had been prearranged with her or not. The next morning, Madame D was found dead by strychnine poisoning. Sir Gustave was not observed on the premises again until, of course, 24 hours later. The identity of his accusers is made clear in this notarized deposition. They include essentially all members of the extended family, but the key witness who actually saw the alleged events appears to have fled the jurisdiction. His whereabouts are currently unknown, but he's being sought and pursued by relevant authorities. Who is he? In the small hours of the evening of 19 October, an individual well known to the house and staff, a Monsieur Gustave H., did arrive at the Dustoff and Taxi's residence in Lutz and entered by rear service alley, alerting no one to his presence, and did then proceed by way of back stairs and servant's passage to deliver himself into the private chambers of Madame D. There was no evidence to indicate whether this visit had been prearranged with her or not. The next morning, Madame D. was found dead by strychnine poisoning. Sir Gustave was not observed on the premises again until, of course, 24 hours later. The identity of his accusers is made clear in this notarized deposition. They include essentially all members of the extended family, but the key witness who actually saw the alleged events appears to have fled the jurisdiction. His whereabouts are currently unknown, but he's being sought and pursued by relevant authorities. Who is he?